We're here for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy. And every Monday, our theme is Let's Do This. How to clear your head and start your week running. Let's talk numbers. Do they make you anxious? There's a very real thing called maths anxiety. And it's as common as it is overwhelming. It can strike us when we're in a Zoom meeting. Somebody mentions, what's 60% of something? And panic flashes across your face. It can creep up when we're doing our taxes. When we're helping our kids with homework. When we're splitting a bill in a cafe. Maths anxiety is seen as intense feelings of apprehension in the face of having to solve mathematical problems. It sounds a bit silly, but it can be serious for lots of people. Are you one of them? According to the experts, it can really affect our well-being, especially if you're in a job which requires calculations. Symptoms can be physical. Things like increased heart rate and breathing difficulties. It can also lead to negative thought patterns. Things like, I'm stupid. Or, I'm never going to be able to do this. Research shows anxiety can make us perform maths tasks poorly, even if we're fully capable of doing them. So, what can we do to help ourselves? Step one. Check in with the story you're telling yourself. There's a saying in therapy, if it feels hysterical, it's historical. If your reaction feels like it's bigger than what the situation calls for, if you're overwhelmed, if you feel panicked, if you want to jump out the window, it's likely to be triggered by something in your past. Don't tell yourself this story. Oh, I'm terrible at maths. Think about where that comes from. Most importantly, as an adult, is it really true? You might find that you're actually pretty damn capable. You just have to get rid of those past voices in your head. A teacher you had another school kid or someone who once told you that you weren't good enough. Step two. Get one step ahead of your anxiety. The good thing about maths anxiety is it's circumstantial. If you're meeting your accountant or sitting down with a mortgage broker, take steps to take the edge off your anxiety. Try one of the many breathing exercises we've shared here. Go for a walk before that meeting. Do some prep to get your numbers straight. If you know what's coming, that's an advantage. You can soothe yourself before you're even triggered. Step three. Accept your limits. So you're not a math whiz. Has it held you back this far? Or... Is it your ego which is stinging? There's good news then. Life isn't one big exam. You're not going to get an F for not being great at quick maths. Crack out your calculator and embrace your knowledge gap. I'm Casey Donovan, and I'm not great at maths. I mean, I'm Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space. We're back tonight with another mood-soothing topic. Soften up to toughen up. Space out.